Yo, what is up, my gamers, my dudes, ladies, gentlemen, thems, theys, the whole shebang. How's it going tonight? It's your main man, the king of masculinity himself, the paper goomba. I know. Um, a name that even makes the devil tremble with fear, the paper goomba. Anyways, uh, tonight I thought it'd just be a fun time to, uh, Look at my Game Boy Advance, look at my Game Boy Advance games, that kind of thing. Uh, before I start the video, I'll show you guys the games I have. Now, I, the Paper Goomba, um, I have committed uh, many, many sins in my life. I have played Apex on the Switch, I have played Apex on the Switch, and I have played Apex on the Switch. But besides that, another thing that I am very guilty of is wanting to hold on to my money, okay? Now, every game you see in front of you uh, is a very, very good... Um, oh, I forgot a game. Hold up. There we go. Is a very good Game Boy Advance game. One of the best, okay? But there's something very egregious that I have done. To save money, these are all reproduction cartridges. <laughs> um, I could, like, all these together, authentic and decent condition, be like above 100 bucks i got these all for like 35 bucks right and so except for this the only one that's real here is this right here i actually bought this new in box uh around my birthday time i got it for myself for my birthday because i really like this game and i just put it in one of these little cases but yeah that's the only one that's real every other one of these is fake but they still play you know what i mean um anyways well, i'll set these over here for now um i have this oh I'm kind of a, a sucker for OEM stuff. Like, I have an OEM DS case. I have an OEM uh, DS case. And I also have this OEM Game Boy Advance uh, oh, uh, case. Um, okay. Now, to start up, um, here is the Game Boy Advance itself. And, yes, this is a case right here. And, yes, it is orange. Yes, I'm going to help. I know. So, I bought this off of eBay as I do a lot of stuff. What do I have in here yet? Okay, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. That's the last thing I think I was playing. Hey, okay, anyways. Um, I got this off of eBay. It's the AGS 101 mod. It's, uh, you know, new shell housing. I could have done this myself, but I was so busy at the time of this. Um, but yeah. And so, the dude, the seller, he, uh, was, uh, selling cases too. And I'm like, you've seen my other videos. You know I'm a sucker for cases, right? And he said he had Game Boy Advance hard shell cases. And in my mind, I was like, it's got to be clear. Why wouldn't it be clear, right? Orange. It's orange. I'm not sure who down the line was like, guys, guys, big, big brain idea here, okay? Let's make a Game Boy Advance case. And let's make it orange. Screw clear. Orange is the way to go, okay? Not sure who his idea that was. But anyways, this is it itself. And also, I'm going, um, yeah. I know. The screen protector. It's pretty bad. But I'm very paranoid with my stuff. I know it doesn't look too great, but it gives me the peace of mind. Anyways, this is the console itself. It's just kind of like, I don't even know, kind of turquoise color. I really like the look of it. Um, to show the AGS uh, 101 thing, you can see the screen is... Here, I'll move this up a tad bit. There we go. The screen is much brighter than... Just in all the way. Uh, te technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give me a second. I've never had any issues with these games. I'm actually kind of worried here. Okay, this better work. Or else I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk to China. Okay, there we go. But you can see how bright the screen is. That it even goes brighter. This is the default. Like, ooh, that's bright. It even messes with the power switch. But yeah, much brighter than the original Game Boy Advance. Um yeah, this is oh probably should turn off the music. Nintendo, please don't sue me. Um yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Highly recommend this game. Anyways, now, um, a good thing that you can do is, so these came out, I think, within like three years of each other. They're very similar. You can see the design, very similar to each other. This is like half the size of this, though. But a lot of people go, why would I play a Game Boy Advance SP when I could just play it on my DS or DS Lite? Okay, and to answer that question, we're going to do a little quick comparison here, okay? So this is my DS Lite, right? Not DS Lite. This is my DS Fat. It's been in another one of my videos, okay? This is the, the way to go, besides if you have DSi XL, uh, to play DS games. So this is the way to go to play Game Boy Advance games, in my mind, okay? So we're going to power on the system. 
Okay, oh, we should probably turn off the volume here. Okay. Um, now, straight off the bat, here, let me grab my Game Boy Advance SP. And Game Boy Advance SP is the way to go, guys. Like, you can fight me on that, but I truly think the Game Boy Advance SP is regular than... Excuse me, better than the regular Game Boy Advance. Oop. Okay. You can see here that the, the screen on the Game Boy Advance SP is the exact same size as the uh, Game Boy... That's oh my heck, I can't talk. Uh, DS. Oh yeah, my gosh dang it, I didn't put this in all the way. Okay, restart it. Okay, there we go. That's it. It better be, at least. I am kind of an idiot, though, so it might not be working. What the heck? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I've never had issues with these cartridges. It's like I'm cursed. Come on. You know, this is kind of my life. Come on. Oh, I'm actually stupid. It was working the entire time. For some reason, I thought... I'm just stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. So, this is uh, Mario Party Advance, okay? Now, uh, you can see that it's kind of like... It's smaller, right? So, we're going to put in another game here. Let's do... Um, let's do... What the heck? Let's do Mario Kart Super Circuit. Uh, this is super challenging game for me. I'm going to put this in my Game Boy Advance SP. On my HE Double Lanta. Okay, here we go. Um... Let's, actually, we're just going to do Superstar Saga. Okay. So straight off the bat, you can see that the DS has this ugly, ugly, kind of like the 3DS playing DS games, ugly kind of rectangle cutout, right? And it's super distracting. Like, And it, it's smaller now than the Game Boy Advance SP screen. Um, not by a lot, but you can definitely tell. And that, that's a huge thing. Like, brightness levels... At the base setting on this, they're about the same, but on the max setting on this, this one's a lot brighter. But yeah, it, my my opinion would be if you're into Game Boy Advance games, you like them a lot, get the uh, get a get a Game Boy Advance uh, SP. Okay, um, make sure you get the AGS 101 uh, version. I've had a regular Game Boy Advance, and I've had a regular Game Boy Advance SP in the past when I was younger, and like. It makes you want to die playing <laughs> the original Game Boy Advance after playing modern consoles. is awful. Like, you take it for granted so much, the backlight that you have in these modern systems. And to make sure you, at, at the very least, get an SP. Like, the SP's screen, the base one, isn't horrible. It definitely isn't the best, but it is by no means horrible. It's leaps and bounds better than the uh, Game Boy Advance regular one. Um... But the Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101 model is, the screen is just very good. It's clear, it's bright, it's pretty. Um, I have a glass screen on this one. There we go. I have a glass screen on this one. It looks great. Okay? The other thing is um, that you, like, if, you, if you're going to play DS games and Game Boy Advance games, like, just get this. Like, there's no point investing in money for, a, like, if you don't already have a DS, like, there, there's no point getting a Game Boy Advance SP if... You just want to play DS games and some Game Boy Advance games, you know what I mean? But if you are just into Game Boy Advance games, SP, easy, okay? If you're just into DS games, don't get a DS fat, okay? No, this is called the DS fat. That is a P-H-A-T, okay? Not F-A-T, P-H-A-T, okay? Don't get a DS fat, okay? Get, get like, a 2DS XL. For the, for, for the money you spend on a decent condition, one of these, like... This one's not even in fantastic condition, you know what I mean? This is the best I could find, though, condition-wise. And this was, like, $80, okay? I know some of the people in the comments are going to be like, You're stupid. Why didn't you get a cheap one? Yeah, I know. But I like my stuff in decent condition. And at that point, you get a 2DS XL for, like, what? Like, 50 bucks more. You get a ton more selection. But, yeah. Funny story, actually, before I end the video, okay? When I was younger, okay, I actually had a Pearl Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101, Okay? I got it from my local game store for like 40 bucks, right? I had no idea what AGS 101 was. No idea. So I was used to playing on like the darker Game Boy Advance SP screens because this was after my Game Boy Advance SP broke, the first one. And it was purple, by the way. And so I got this Game Boy Advance SP and turned it on. I was like, what in the Sam? Like, I was so confused why it was so bright. I was like, this is great. It looks like my DS Lite. But like, I was so confused why it was so bright. Then years later... I'm watching, like, YouTube video. Someone says AGS 101, a brighter screen. I'm like, that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We got them. But, yeah. Um, also, fun fact. Oh, I have the charger somewhere around here. Here we go. I have one in here, but it's all nice and clean. And I have this stupid one that I was charging with earlier. Oh, no, it's stuck. Anyways. This uses... The, both of these used... Hold on. I'm going to grab this. 
Uh, okay, wait. It's falling. Stuck of a chair. Hold up. Hold up. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Um, come on. Come on. I should be smarter than this. Oh my gosh. How did I? How did I make it through high school? There we go. Okay. So this. Um, this is the DS uh, Fat and Game Boy Advance SP charger. I actually really love this charger. Um, you just, come on, I, I really am stupid, aren't I? Okay, you just put it in there, as shown in the demonstration, and charging. Well, it's not plugged in, but it would be charging. Um, but yeah, super good console. Um, here, I'm going to show you guys the rest of my physical games, man. Um, this is a really fun game. Uh, screen crunch just a little bit, but I enjoy the game. I have actually only played Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance, so I don't know anything better. I'm sure it's a little bit of screen crunch, though. Uh, looks great, though. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Absolutely love this game. Uh, Mario Kart of my childhood, besides Mario Kart DS. Um, Donkey Kong. Uh, King of Swing. Um, this is a really great game. Haven't made it all the way through. But I've got this brand new inbox sealed for like 35 bucks on eBay. So, yeah. Um... I, I am an opener. I am an opener. Okay, I'm I am an opener. I do. I'm not a collector. So let me just say that. Probably should have kept it sealed. A lot of you would think that, but I'm an opener. Um, Super Mario Advance. One of the first uh, games I actually ever played. Um, I really enjoy this because it has the updated graphics from Super Mario All Stars. So like, besides Super Mario All Stars, this is the way to play um, uh, Super Mario Bros. to the USA version, in my opinion, at least. Some people prefer the original graphics, but I like the more updated ones. Mario vs. Donkey Kong never played this. Um, it's uh, I got this in a lot with all these Mario games, the repro cartridges, and yeah, so never actually played this, but I've heard good things. Saw like a completionist video on it. Um, what do we got next? This as well as oh, uh, this one. These both use the updated graphics um, from Super Mario All Stars, and so both these games look amazing. And I've actually. Played all the way through Super Mario. I, the only way I've played Super Mario Bros. 3 is actually on this. Um, well, I've played it on a couple different systems, but the only time I actually played it 100% through, well, not 100%, but all the way through, was on this. And the graphics look great. Tiny bit of screen crunch, but not bad. And we also have, uh, okay, Mario Party Advance. This is an extremely underrated game, in my opinion. Extremely underrated. I love this game. It's so cute, it's so charming. It definitely isn't a Mario Party game. Like, you can fight me on that. This should be called, like, Mario's Quest or something like that. Like, just just take out the party, okay? Uh, just take out the party, okay? Like, in my opinion, not even close to Mario Party game, okay? So cute, so charming, though. Love this game. I actually first played this on an emulator on Android. Um, then we have... Oh, I gotta take this out. Hold up. There we go. Um, oh, it's upside down. Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. This game eluded me for years. Heard about it, could never find it in a local game store. Then finally I bought it on the internet. But just kind of sat around, right? And then I lost it. Then I bought the 3Pro cartridge. But before I even played this one, I played through the remake on 3DS. Um, but I gotta say, I like the graphics in this game, the Game Boy Advance version, a lot better than the 3DS. I don't know why, they're just so much more charming. But yeah. Anyways, gentles, ladiesmen, thems, theys... This concludes the video. Namaste. Okay. Um, I'll do another video. I'm trying to do like one like every week or something. I don't even know. Um, but yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If I don't know, if you want to subscribe, go go right ahead. If you don't want to subscribe, that's just fine, man. Well, man, girl, them, they. Uh, <laughs> Can never be too careful these days. Um, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your night, day, whatever. I don't even know whatever time you're in. Um, currently, where I'm at, I don't even know. It's like 5 in the morning. I just got done working, and like my sleep schedule is so screwed up. Because I've been uh, working uh, in the nighttime. Um, and so like I'll get up uh, like in the afternoon. I'll do some stuff, then I'll go work. I'll go work all night. And I'll go to sleep around 7 in the morning. I, it's my sleep schedule screwed up. In the fall, when I'm uh, going to go to college, I'll fix it, though. But anyways, hope you guys have a great time. Uh, this is the Paper Goomba, the king of the virgins. 
uh, the person even Satan trembles in fear with, I am out.